Good morning, everyone. We are now at Yellowstone National Park. Today, it is the 1st of May and the local temperature is minus one degrees Celsius. It is very difficult to visit the park uh, in the months April and May due to the weather circumstances because it is still very snowy. So in this video, we will explain you guys how you can visit Yellowstone National Park in the months April and May. The first thing we recommend you to do is to go to the visitor center and talk to a ranger. He will tell you which roads are open and which roads are still closed. He will also tell you um, how to spot wildlife or which hikes are safe to do with all these bears around here. We are now here at the west entrance of Yellowstone Park. We talked to a ranger and basically all the pink colored roads are closed. So that means that this area is closed and this area is open. Um, the thing that we will visit, we will go, we'll, we will start here and then we will go all the way down to Old Faithful and then all the way back up to the Lower Gazer Basin. Um, then we will go to Madison as well and basically that is our first day. On the second day we will go to Norris and we will also go to Canyon Village which is the last point. So it means that we can't go any further than that point so we will have to go back. And then we, we are going to go all the way up to Mammoth Hot Springs as well. We can visit that as well. You can go to the right, um, basically next to the Tower Roosevelt, all the way up to Lamar Valley and to uh, Cook City. But that's the last point as well. Then we have to get back on that road and then um, exit the park uh, up here. Basically the north entrance is open all year. The west entrance where we are now is partly open in the year and the other entrances are closed at the moment. It is still freezing outside, so make sure you have coffee with you, or in our case, hot chocolate. So this is the first time we spot some wildlife, the buffaloes. And if you look really closely, then you can see the little kid buffalo drinking with the mother. but it stinks. This time of year here at the Grand Prismatic Spring, it is open to visit and it is really beautiful. And look what we ran into when we got here. Um, a bison is lost. Old Faithful Gazer is one of the oldest and most active gazers here in Yellowstone Park. Uh, for more information on when he is active to see it, you can find it at the Old Faithful Visitor Education Center. A lot of wildlife today we are now at a campground the grizzly rv park um, this one is located near the west entrance of yellowstone park and we are so happy with this campground because yesterday it was like this So 
so the temperatures were really low um, and also our water was frozen in the van all our clothes were really cold to wear so we thought that this night um, would be the same but there was a really nice guy from the Grizzly RV park that borrowed us his electric heater so we will have a warm night tonight so good night <laughs> For us, it's another day in Yellowstone Park and today we are going to visit the other half of the map that we showed you yesterday. We hope to see even more wildlife today because we haven't seen a bear yet and yeah, that's kind of cool so we do want to see it. Um, if you guys uh, were not able to see any wildlife in the park, you can always visit the Grizzly and uh, Wolf Discovery Center near the west entrance of the park and there you can see bears and wolves. We're gonna do it now just to be sure to see one. There were a lot of incidents where bears tried to steal the food from people and it was just too easy for the bears. So the manufacturer is trying to make a box that bears can't open and it is being tested right here at this park. So now a manufacturer gave that box and the bear is trying to open it. It doesn't seem to work quite good. So maybe we are now witnesses of the first bear resistible box or maybe not. So these were the previous bear resistant boxes and these one didn't survive. the day the Gibbon Falls. Lunch time now. Okay, let's go to the next stop. <laughs> it's very slippery here. Yeah, it's all, it's ice. So this is our last stop of our second day, the Mammoth Hot Springs. This time of year, so in the months April and May, there is a lot of wildlife to see. Um, also the ranger told us that there is enough to do in the park in these months. So don't be afraid that you won't see any wildlife because it is. We even saw a bear actually, uh, but he was far away and we couldn't pull over because there weren't any parking spaces. Remember? Dress warmly because it's really cold in the months April and May. You will see wildlife and have a great time. We're off to Canada now.